Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic school building system. So without much delay, let's begin. First, we'll be seeing the requirements of this code. Firstly, we require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, a code editor. And third, an operating system. We move to the code part here. First, we have all the header files included. Then we have a structure named DAT, which helps us to store the date, the month and the day. Here we have int DM, where D stands for day and M stands for month. Then we have a scanf function, a CL scanf function, which checks whether the class is from 1 to 12. Then we have a struct structure named student, where we have the struct DAT, DT, that is the DT data type. Then we have some floating data types, F, fine, total, advance, due, where F stands for the fee. Then we have a character array named N. Then we have int integer variables R and C, where R stands for roll number and C stands for class. Then we have the structure named teacher, where we have all the teacher attributes, the character array N, the struct DAT, DT, the float, variables which are salary, advance, and total. Then we have integer variables which have ID and the number. Now we have certain functions like the check date function where this function is used to check the date as the name suggests. Then adding records function that is add rec, mod rec which stands for modifying records, search rec for searching records, del rec for deleting records, and salary for the calculation of salary of teacher and staff. Then we have the file pointers, FS and FT, which help for the file declaration. Then we have int MMDD, where MM stands for the month and DD for the day. Then we have a void exit function, which obviously helps to exit from the code. Then we have the main function, which has certain variables. There is a loop running from i is equal to zero to 80. Another one loop running from i equal to 0 to 80, which actually prints the data, the inputted data. Then we have the home page where we have the welcome to school billing system project and press any key to continue. So after pressing, we go to the functionalities of this code, like what the code can perform, what the project can perform. It asks us to enter the current date in the MMDD format. The color 0F, it's from the, the first part. The 0 is for background color and the F is for the text color. Then we have the start function where there are two variables declared first. That is int i and j, where j is for selection of the account type. And then here, we have please enter your account type. Are you student or are you a teacher and staff? or you can press exit. So here we need to choose our account type, after which we go to the particular operation of the particular case. Here, if we press one, that is for student, it asks us to enter the choice, whether we want to add the record, search the record, modify, delete, calculate the fee or exit. So we have to enter our choice depending on which will go to the particular functionalities which we, which we knew before. Then if you press anything rather than those six options, this is an invalid entry, then you need to terminate the code. In the case to the stands for the teacher and the staff, here again all those functionalities are there. Instead of fee, we have the salary here. Again, you have to enter the choice and particularly you will be driven towards that particular section of code. Here we have the add rec or the addition of record function, where C that stands for month till which the fee is cleared. And D, that stands for the date till which the fee is cleared. And the FF is used to calculation of fee of different class. Then we have this beautiful uh, code that is add record. Under which we have the enter the number name of the student, the class, the roll number, the month and date till which fee, fee is paid. Fee of the different classes, month of fee which is left to be paid. So these all things we can display here. Then here. We need to open a binary file in the append mode so that we can read, write, and enter 
the new thing into the final. So after which it asks us whether you want to continue with this process or not. We need to press either small case Y or capital case Y. Accordingly, we can perform our operation. Then for the case two, we have the name of the teacher of the staff to be inputted, his ID. So his number of classes and shift per month and the month and date in which his salary is paid. After which it calculates the stuff and uh, it asks us whether we want to continue with the process or not. If yes, we have to press Y or capital Y. Then we have the search record. Here, we need to define the search type, whether we need to search by name, by class, by roll number. So out of the three, you need to enter your choice. Accordingly, you will be driven to the particular code or the particular section of code actually. So here, uh, depending on those optionalities, functionalities, we are driven towards the code. The name, class, roll number, monthly fee, last fee paid, due, fine, total, everything is displayed. Then if your choice is two, you need to enter the class of the student to search. So accordingly, again, it will go to the file, search for that particular data and it will display. For the roll number, also the same thing goes on. Then we need to enter for the teacher. We need to see for the teacher. So if you are a teacher and you are trying to look into the code, it will ask you the name of the teacher, the ID, the month till which his salary is paid, the monthly salary and the advance paid. After which it will go to the particular section of the teacher file. It will show you everything. It will retrieve the content from there. If you need to modify the teacher's record, then you have to modify by name, his uh, salary, his ID. Then for the student, it is his name, his name and class and name, class and roll number. So accordingly, you need to enter the details so that you can perform the operations. You need to enter the new name of the student, the new class of the student, and the new roll number of the student, which you need to change. Then after which the record has been successfully updated, that thing will be displayed on the screen. And this is what, if the record is not found due to some reason, it will display that, sorry, the record which you are searching for is not found in our database. Then here we come to the comparison part. See here the name and the name which we entered and student name is being compared. And if it is zero, it means if these are same, then it will ask you to enter the new name of the student, the new class of the student and the new roll number of the student after which you, you can modify it properly. Then this is for the teacher. You have to enter the name of the teacher to which you want to modify. Then the name, new name of the teacher, the new ID of the teacher. Again, the same functionalities are being repeated. If you want to delete a record, say both for the student and for the teacher, again, you need to have a backup file. It's a temporary file so that all the stuff which you are deleting that can be stored there. So which after which you, if you want to retrieve it, somehow it you, you're able to get, get it. Then here you can see the system del student here. All the data except the data to be deleted in student were first moved to the temporary and data in student was deleted. So first we are moving it to the temporary. Why I have been telling it since many videos that we need to have a temporary storage so that we can have a backup and if in the future we require something we can able to retrieve it. So basically all this stuff is uh, deleted. Then we come to the salary. This is for the teacher. So here we have to enter the month in which the salary is to be paid after which which part of the salary is left. So everything will be calculated, shuffled and will show you. Then this is fee. This is for the student. It will ask to enter the name, class, roll number, after which it will ask, and ask you to enter the month till which your fee is paid. What is your fine? What is your due? The total and the advance if you have paid some. And if the record is not found, it will simply display that, sorry, the record has not been found. This is the exit function where you will just see the message. Thank you for using the C++ program school building system project. And if the date is entered is wrong. Like if you entered some wrong dates eventually, it will display that sorry invalid date entering. I hope you understood this code. Now we'll go to the VS code and I'll run this code and show you. So what we are going to do is here we are going to calculate the bills, the fees, the salaries of different employees and students working in the school. May it be faculty, may it be non-teaching staff and staff. So in the previous video, I've already explained you the code. Here I will implement the, uh, the code. I'll show you the real output, this, how this code works and how does it look like. So let me run this code in VS. 
I I did exit the code before this, so it's exiting for now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it again. So I ran the code here. So this is a beautiful graphics that you're going to get. And I have to press any key to continue. Okay. Now I'll press any key. Just look at the transitions, guys. So what's the month? Today we are in April 11th. So this is 4th and 11. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna enter for student. I have to add a record. The name of the student is Simran. My class is 12, my roll number is 12 and my fees is paid till 12 I pay month and day. Okay, so my fees is paid till, so we are in April, so let's say March, 0 to okay, Feb, 0 to 11. So I want to continue, okay, yes. Next student is Anish. His class is also 12, his roll number is say 10. And his face is paid till Jan 11. Cool. So I don't want to continue more. So what I'm going to do is, now I'm going to go for student again. I will calculate the fee. My name, I'll calculate the fee for say Anish. His class is 12. His role was 10, I guess, 10. And uh, till which fee is to pay? Say 4th of. April 11th, okay, so this is what I entered, so after which we are going to get the data, the data is being stored in the database, like we are going to have the student file, so I'll show you here. So what he's going to do is, so his data is going to be stored in the database. Then what we are going to do is, I'll show you for the various teachers as well, what the fees will be calculated and that thing will be stored in the database, okay. So I'll go for teachers and staff. So here we have different records. Say I have to add a record. The name is Kulkarni. A favorite name for teachers. His ID is 1, 2, 3. He has taken 23 shifts and his salary is to be paid till today. What the? This is what I have added the record. Now the next stuff will be done. Cool. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.